that's something I'll never forget. So uh, I say these things so that we'll hopefully um, be aware of, of, of certain realities so that we'll be in a position to work for a positive, uh, humane change. Please, it's open for comments and discussion. One that jumped out at me is I don't know why there has to be a special category for gay, lesbian, and bisexual. Uh, I don't know, that seems weighted. <laughs> Oh, you mean in the demographic data? Yeah, in the yeah. demographic data, you're <laughs> white. You know, that's not one of the choices you make when you go into the primary right. and say, are you demographic public or gay? <laughs> that's a, I, know, I didn't notice that in this uh, compilation of demographic data. I suppose these are uh, exit poll data and people fill out the form and they can answer that question or not, and so you have that, that information. Uh, I, I agree with your point. Uh, well, probably so what? because a number of states have had issues around marriage mm -hmm. on their ballots, they may be asking oh that question. Yeah. Yeah. I, I grew up in San Francisco, so that was the question. Yeah. <laughs> there were some seats that, that, that they even had arguments in the gay community about uh, whether they should have a lesbian or a gay in the uh, third seat that was supposed to go to one of the uh, to, to one of the to, was set aside for yes. the uh, gay and lesbian community, and they yeah. argued about that second seat. Yeah, points well taken, Chuck. Oh, I uh, I'm wondering. I don't feel myself racist. I'm not happy with the job Obama's doing. I'm sure. wondering if he's done enough to galvanize himself. Uh, with yeah. the uh, the economy, the uh, the overspending, the the uh, stimulus that doesn't appear to be working, uh, the health care, he pretty much forced down the American people's throat, despite the majority of people not liking it. Uh, in other words, I think he's done enough of his policies to get people angry at him. I'm angry at him for that. I'm not angry at him for sure. races. I think it's great we have a black president. Yeah, your point's well taken, and, and that's the appropriate critique of my whole position, obviously. That, that is available to be made, and it's impossible to disentangle all of these, these things and to know why people are voting. People obviously aren't going to say that they voted the way they did because of so-and-so and so-and-so. Uh, I, I, guess, I, I guess I would say this. First of all, if you can go back to 2000, when Bush was not elected, but you know, was because <laughs> he didn't win the popular vote and he didn't win the electoral vote either, right. and it was given to him by the Supreme Court in Florida. But but at that time we had peace and prosperity. We had an incredible surplus in the budget, and we weren't at war. If 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 if, if Bill Clinton hadn't been a philanderer, Al Gore would have won the election. But that's not the point. But here's the point I'm getting at. Th this is how things work. Now we have eight years of Republicanism until 2008. And we, we've lost another war in Iraq that we shouldn't have fought. We well, we're going to lose in Afghanistan. We've gone from a surplus to whatever, so many trillion dollars of debt. I, I find it absolutely unbelievable that John McCain could get 47% of the vote. So, so I just want to start with, with at least my interpretation of that. Now, t two years later, Clint, I mean, uh, Obama made a lot of mistakes in my opinion. I couldn't agree with you more in this sense. I, I think health care was a very humane thing to do, and it, uh, it's going to help a lot of people, but it's not what the American people wanted. They wanted him to go forthrightly for, for job. Uh, he tried everything he possibly could to get jobs, and there was, there was nothing that could be done. The American people, um, understandably, are, are very unhappy about this recession. But this recession happened under whose watch? Bush's. So, American people, in my opinion, are being uh, irrational. Oh, I think so. They're being uh, misguided. Mm. They are uh, punishing the Democrats because because they have no other way, no other mechanism to express their, their disapproval. But I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you one thing: what's going to happen? In 2012, Obama's going to be reelected easily, 
Republicans are very likely to be swept aside. And because the American people, because they're not very, in my view, very sophisticated in their way of looking at things, simply have no other choice but to look at an election as a referendum on the right. performance the of the incumbent. The so in 2008, they voted for Obama, not because they like him, and certainly not because he was African American, but because he was not a Republican. In 2010, they voted the Democrats out, not because they liked him, and they certainly didn't give the Republicans a mandate to do away with labor unions and all of this nonsense, but because they had no other way to express their discontent but to vote the other party in. The Republican Party is misinterpreting its mandate. It's going to overreach. I agree with you to this point. Obama had no mandate for health care. I don't think he personally should have supported health care. I, I think he was wrong politically, but I, I have a lot of admiration for his courage in doing that. But economically, we would not have had what we have. If we'd gotten McCain, you think the economy is in shambles now. Right. It would have been uh, a disaster. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 mean, mean, I, 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 I think mindset. what, Mc, I think what, just, I agree with you, Obama didn't go far enough, in my opinion, with, with the stimulus package. We needed a double-sized stimulus package at that time. So you were double-down on a failure? If you, if you look at the stimulus package list. No, we spent it on jobs. I wouldn't have spent it on pork barrel for, for, no. uh, for, the, for Nancy Pelosi. Who, and, you know, who, who all got, re, all, all got defeated oh, okay, despite all of that pork barrel legislation. The money, though, that was sent to states did not necessarily get spent because the federal government can't control whether the money gets spent. The governors control that. Yeah. Do you really think Republican governors who were sending back money or holding money, yeah. do you really think that corporations who don't want Democrats in charge that are sitting on money and not hiring, right. you can't control? The government has no control over that. The money is there, but in terms of controlling the message, Democrats don't have that, and they're about to lose more of it. That's what this whole thing about the unions is about, is getting rid of the option of Democrats having some money to be able to send their message out. We can't compete with the Koch brothers, clearly. That's what happened in, 20, in the last election, and it will only get worse. But I also agree with the point you made that Obama didn't do an effective job at, at self-promotion of the successes, uh, in, in, in his economic successes, and how things would have been that much worse. He was all over the place. He never focused on a clear message. Uh, but Bill Clinton, in almost every speech he's ever given, says, I have three points to make. It's like a great professor. You know, outlines it. One, two, three. Sticks to those three. You hear an Obama speech, and it's a catalog of all this stuff. And the reason for that is he's a professor. <laughs> he's not a politician. He's an expert in teaching constitutional law. He, he talks about very uh, kind of abstract theoretical ideas. He, he's a terrible politician. And, but I think also he's somewhat, as I suggested, under constraint that as an African American, he, he can't be angry, he has to always sound conciliatory, but he, he, he's, he's not a good politician. He is too gentle mm -hmm. in, in, in his uh, oration. Well, it's too bad he couldn't have been more like Harry Truman and Lyndon Johnson, that he, they fucked their own party and picked up enough independent people to, to win and, and well, managed to push through the yep. lynching laws and integrating the armed forces. I was in the army at that time and uh, none of the soldiers cared about it. Of course, I, I was in an army that's very different. I was the only, they didn't even call me white, I was a howley. <laughs> I was drafted into the Hawaiian Army, and in a, in a group of 240 men in that company, I was the only Howie. There were other people I thought, well, they're white too, how come they're not Howies? And, oh no, they're not white, they're Puerto Rican, they're Portuguese. No matter what color they were, they weren't Howies.